Hello, I'm Mimi. I'm a digital illustrator running my own small art business and this week I'm just feeling a bit overwhelmed by all of the things that I have to do. So I thought we could have a chat while I work about some of the more challenging parts of being a full-time illustrator working for myself. I don't want to over romanticize the life of an illustrator on this channel as just being relaxed and beautiful and getting to spend all day drawing carefree because although it absolutely can be that sometimes it's also still a job and can be stressful and a lot of work and lots of deadlines. And working for myself means that I'm responsible for everything and making sure things get done. And I have to wear a lot of different hats and be the manager, the creator, the accountant, the marketing department, the secretary, all of the things. And sometimes it just really feels like a lot. Now, I don't want to scare anyone off from working for themselves as an artist because it is amazing. And I know we just talked about fears in last week's video. So I'm aware that I don't want anything in this video to add to any fears and hold anyone back. If I can do it, you can do it. But I do think it's helpful to paint as realistic a picture as possible about what it's like working for yourself because you do have to take the challenging days with the amazing days. I'm feeling a little bit under the weather this week and I think some days it's easy to get caught up in the small frustrations and the grind of needing to be creative for my work and needing to show up online and it can all feel a bit much and I'm tempted to just hide under my desk. But really, I just need to take a deep breath, make an extra large cup of tea and remind myself of the bigger picture because what I'm doing is what I always dreamed of doing, spending my time illustrating, sharing my journey with other creatives and living in a quiet spot with the trees and cows outside my window. I guess I just want to acknowledge that even dream jobs have difficult days and that's okay. And if you're living your creative dreams or working towards them, I just wanna say that you don't need to feel like you have to be loving every single minute of it. It's natural to have ups and downs, and even if you're doing your dream job, some days will be frustrating and stressful and annoying, and you don't have to pretend that they're not just because this is what you wanted and worked so hard for. The good news is that, for me at least, I don't have very many bad days, and in general I'm way less stressed than I have been in any of my previous jobs. There's a joke among the self-employed that we quit our 9 to 5 jobs so that we can work 24-7 for ourselves, which can feel far too accurate sometimes. There's always something that I could or should be doing, a comment to respond to, an email to answer, some accounting to keep on top of. Working for myself, I can feel the pressure of knowing that if I don't work, then I don't get paid. And I can totally understand why people like the stability of going to an office where they get paid consistently and can leave their work at the office when they come home at the end of the day. My creative business consumes so much of my thoughts and some days it makes up 90% of what my partner and I talk about because he's involved with it as well. It's because we're excited to work on projects and make videos, but I have to actively remind myself to go for a walk and think about something else. Otherwise, I can easily just think about illustrations, content and messages 24 seven. When you're running things on your own or maybe with just the help of a partner, it's challenging to learn how to be everything that your business needs, like a website developer, an accountant, a copywriter, marketing, and then how to write an invoice and what should I look for when I'm reading a contract? We don't know what we don't know, so we can't expect ourselves to already understand all of these things and you can absolutely learn them all one thing at a time, but gosh, it feels like a lot sometimes. It is like learning how to do any new job though, and there are so many amazing tutorials and free resources online to teach us everything we need to be able to do in our creative businesses, so you can absolutely learn as you go. A big part of why I've been feeling a little bit overwhelmed this week is that I have a lot of projects on at the moment, which is amazing and I'm really grateful for them because I do love what I do, but it also means there's a lot on my to-do list on top of my usual content and illustration schedule. 
I get quite overwhelmed and feel anxious when I see everything laid out all at once, but realistically I can only do as much as I can and the rest will just have to wait. I think I accidentally make things difficult for myself sometimes because I have big ambitions and can overcommit and put too much on my to-do list because I'm excited and want to do all the things at once. But lately I've been learning to chill out more about it all and let one thing happen at a time, even if means that things happen at a slow and steady pace. Slow and steady is sustainable and that's really important because overcommitting is a one-way ticket to burnout and I try to avoid that. Sometimes though, a few deadlines all line up at once, a couple of tasks take longer than I expected and I have a lot to get done, which makes me feel stressed because I don't want to disappoint either myself or anyone else. Fortunately, a lot of my deadlines are kind of arbitrary and I've just decided that I want to post a YouTube video every week, but realistically if it doesn't happen it isn't the end of the world and sometimes we do skip a video or give ourselves a few extra days because it isn't worth the stress. Because we're trying to grow our YouTube channel though, it does feel quite important to keep showing up and being consistent. And I really enjoy sharing content with you all, so it's hard to not want to prioritize YouTube even if I could just skip a week. So I'm trying to find a balance between growing my business at a steady pace by showing up consistently and not putting so much pressure on myself that I get stressed. And it's quite a difficult thing to navigate sometimes, especially when big projects come up that I want to work on. How do I find time to do everything when I want to do so much? I have this battle with myself all the time of wanting to do lots of fun projects and illustrations and more books, but knowing that when I have too much on my list, I'll feel overwhelmed and overworked. It definitely feels sometimes like I need to hustle to build my business, and I do believe that generally you do have to put in a lot of time and energy consistently to grow online, but something about the word hustle feels a bit relentless and robotic, like you can't slow down or take breaks. I think it's partly because we live in a world of constant media and stimulus, so we feel like we need to keep up and continue putting out lots of content because there's so much new content every day. Now I've been playing around with a few different platforms this year for being organized and something that I found really helps me when I feel overwhelmed is to make sure that every single thing that's floating around in my mind gets written down on a big to-do list, even if that feels really scary. And then from that big list, I just take a few really important things and write them down on paper. That way I can release everything from my mind and know that it isn't going to be forgotten, but I can just focus on the few things that I've put down on paper that are the most important right now. Combine that with a tea break and some relaxing music and I will already be feeling much better about what I need to do. And at the end of the day, if it really is just all too much and I need to take a mental health day, then that takes priority because I'm fortunate to be in a position where I can mostly control my workload and deadlines. Sometimes I need to move some of my deadlines and take the morning to go for a walk at the beach or bake a cake to recenter myself and I'll be in a much better position to be a powerhouse creative when I sit back at my computer. Something else that helps me quite a lot is to set up my space or my outfit or just my mindset to be how I would expect an empowered creative running their own business would. I heard Marissa Peer say in a podcast called The Diary of a CEO recently that we act in a way that matches how we define ourselves and I am such a big believer in that. If we define ourselves as not being good at art, then we won't act like artists. But if we define ourselves as being capable illustrators, then that's how we're going to act. So sometimes I just need to give myself a pep talk and look and act the part to get me back on track. I am an illustrator. I am absolutely capable of running this business. And yes, I can look cute while I do it. 
I'll put on my favorite clothes that make me feel the most empowered or arty. I'll set up my workspace in a way that feels professional to me or inspiring. And when I sit down to work, I'll be thinking what a cool job I have and realize that I'm not just faking it till I make it. This is for real what I'm doing. Negative thoughts breed in action because we don't think we're good enough to try. So try feeding yourself positive thoughts and see what happens. Tell yourself that you are creative, your art is really cool, and that you can learn how to fill out scary tax forms as a small business. You don't even have to believe it at first, but keep telling yourself anyway because thoughts turn into feelings and feelings turn into actions. I still have negative thoughts, and I still have weeks where I get overwhelmed and think I'm reaching too high and don't have the drive or skills to achieve what I'm aiming for, but I try not to dwell on those thoughts. I let them float in and out, but if they're things that I can control, like having too much work on, then I can take actions to change that. And if they're just worries that don't have any truth, they don't get to take up a permanent position in my brain because that spot is reserved for more productive thoughts. I might start putting all of my negative thoughts through a courtroom process in my brain, and if they can show evidence to support their claim, then I'll listen and make a plan to address the problem, and if they don't have any solid evidence because they're just speculating that my art might not be good enough or nobody cares what I have to say, then there's not any actual evidence to support that, and they get kicked out. If negative thoughts are something that you're struggling with, then definitely have a chat with a mental health professional who can guide you through it, because everything I have to say is just really casual and might not apply to your situation. Even in making this video over the course of a few days this week, I'm feeling so much better and on top of things again. Here are some of the things that help me when I'm feeling overwhelmed or stressed by all the things that I need to get done. I get all of the tasks out of my head and onto a list, and then I just choose a few things from that list to focus on knowing that everything else will get done soon and won't be forgotten. I take a tea break. I put on music that makes me feel relaxed or empowered, whichever one I need at the time. I put on an audiobook or podcast to take my mind off it. I talk about it, either to my partner or a family member or close friend. If I can, then I'll address the cause of the stress. If I have too much on, I try to adjust my schedule and deadlines to ease the time pressure. I do a relaxing activity, like going for a walk or baking. I draw something just for fun that I don't have to post or use for content if I don't want to. I set myself up to be in a more positive mindset by telling myself positive things, putting on my favorite jumper that makes me feel arty, and arranging my space to be inspiring. And if all else fails, maybe I'll spend the afternoon watching TV. What helps you feel better when you're stressed? Let us know in the comments and it might help somebody else today. Once again, I want to say that I love what I do, I love that this is my job, but I just wanted to address some of the challenges and share that some days are difficult just like any other job. Thank you so much for watching this video, give it a like if you enjoyed it or found it helpful, and subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye!